Okay, now we have a slightly different firm, uh, version of the trig equation problem. We would like to find all of the answers where the unknown is somewhere between 0 degrees and 180 degrees. Here I am given the sine of some angles 0 0.8090. Okay, so I'm going to hit the inverse sine button or on some of your calculators the second sine button and do 8090 and hit equals and out pops fifty-four degrees. It's actually fifty-three point nine nine eight and we're going to round that off to x equals fifty-four degrees. Okay, now let's draw a little picture of a 0 degrees, 90 degrees, and 180 degrees. What we have found here is that at 54 degrees we have an angle. That's the angle there. Okay, that has a sine of 0.8090. Okay, it just so happens that over on this side, 54 degrees away from 180, is uh, another angle. So 180 subtract 54 is 126 degrees. Because both of these angles are 54 degrees away from the x axis, they have what we call the same reference angle. And things that have the same reference angle are going to have um, the same sine, cosine, and tangents. The decimal, the numbers will be the same, possibly their signs will be positive or negative. Okay, so if I take the sine of 126 here, I find that I also get 0.8090. So therefore we get as an answer 54 degrees or 126 degrees. Okay, so it is possible to get two answers for this um, because in the second quadrant over here there is another angle that has the same sign as 54 degrees.